Shalom. Do you consider yourself a sensitive person? Sometimes do you perhaps think that maybe you're a bit too sensitive? Isn't it better than not caring at all or not caring enough? Actually, this is one of the things that is alluded to in this week's Torah portion. This week we're going to be reading Torah portion of Vayetze, beginning in Sefer Breshit, the book of Genesis, chapter 28. And we read in verse 11, in verse 10 it begins, And Jacob left Beersheba, and he went towards Haran, and he arrived at the place, and slept there because the sun had set. And he took some of the stones of the place, and placed them at his head, under his head. And he lay down in that place. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set upon the ground, and its top reached to heaven. And behold, angels of God were ascending and descending upon it. Of course, these verses refer to the place of the Holy Temple, Mount Moriah. Jacob arrived at the spot that would become the place of the Holy Temple, that very place that had been sanctified by God from the beginning of time. According to an innovative interpretation of the Baal Shem Tov in this week's Torah portion, Yaakov Avinu, our forefather Jacob, was actually troubled by the coarseness and the insensitivity that he observed in others around him. And specifically, he felt that people were not sensitive to the honor of the Almighty. And he reflected to himself that these individuals had hearts of stone. And this is one of the meanings, says the Holy Baal Shem Tov, of the words. He took some of the stones of the place. That is to say that Jacob saw the behavior of these individuals and saw their stone-like lack of sensitivity, their stone-like hearts. The stones of the place as it is these locals with hearts of stones. He kind of referred to them to himself as the local rocks. And he took these stones, meaning that he took to heart their behavior. And he placed them under his head. He pondered and he mused and he thought and wondered about this phenomena, how people can be so disconnected from God and considering ab about it and amusing about this disconnect at the very site that was to become the place of the Holy Temple and thinking what it would take to bring it all together, he gave thanks to God that he was not one of them.